over the millennia with the moon's prominent and constant presence in our night sky, men ultimately began to speculate on its origin. How did it form? How did the moon come to be? In 455 BCE, the Greek scholar Anaxagoras theorized that the moon was simply a rock that was flung off by the Earth. Most of his contemporaries, on the other hand, were convinced that the moon was a god, or maybe a huge ball of fire. So Anaxagoras' notion did not get much traction. Quiet speculation no doubt continued, but no hard information about the moon came until 1609. When Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei pointed one of the first telescopes at the moon and recognized that he was looking at a landscape, the terrain of another world. When you look at the moon through a telescope, it looks completely different from the way it looks to the naked eye. Instead of looking flat the way it does to the naked eye, it really looks round and you can see the shadows, you can see all these craters that the naked eye does not see, and it just immediately looks like a world. It jumps out at you into three dimensions. Galileo made detailed drawings of the small planet's surface and established once and for all that the moon is a solid world, not a god or a fireball. But the groundbreaking astronomer never publicly speculated on the moon's origin, primarily because his interests soon moved to other planets. Not until 1873 did the first science-based theory regarding the origin of the moon publicly emerge. It sprang from the mind of a talented French astronomer named Edward Roche. Roche advocated what's called the co-accretion theory, which says that basically Earth and the moon grew up at the same time out of the same materials. In Roche's day, many scientists began to believe that the planets might have formed from hot condensing clouds of gas. It gradually contracted and cooled, and as it contracted, it would separate out rings of gas. So you'd have a ring of gas here, a ring here, and so forth. And these rings of gas would then eventually coalesce and form the planets. Roche saw the Earth and the Moon as a solar system in miniature. His idea was that the Earth starts out as a ball of gas and then cools and contracts and sheds a ring of gas that then itself coalesces and forms the Moon. But there are problems with this theory. For one, our moon has a much lower iron content than the Earth. If the two bodies formed from the same materials, their basic composition should be the same, but they are not. This and other inconsistencies soon led fellow astronomers to quest for new ideas to explain the existence of the moon.